do. Get that up there. Pin that. There we go. And then go here. Oh, well, nobody's said anything in the chat, so that makes sense. I'm sure there's a way to just at everybody that's online. Bug, how you doing, my man? My man, I, I, I wanted to say my dude, and then I like mixed it with man. So my my the man. <laughs> Good God. All right. So the thumbnail's working. Good shit. You like you like the thumbnail? It's beautiful. We've done that before? Yeah. This this thumbnail is it's gorgeous. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna set it as my new background. <laughs> Amazing. Yes. Come on, Mama Kitty, get comfortable. Alright. <clears throat> now. Let us. This cat just cannot freaking sit still. Hello, Dar. All right. So, let's get this shit started. Go to Steam. Spam, uh, you had to have seen the slap of the Oscars, right? Yeah, yeah, no, that shit was crazy. 
it, it's even more crazy when you like read into like like Will Smith's situation and what's been going on because hello uh because yeah like like he's just been out just like stepped on my balls uh freaking his his wife just basically like freaking cheated on him and and just told him just you know flat out just you know I mean, yeah I cheated on you you know and they have like kids and shit <laughs> Yeah, so that's a whole thing. So, uh, keep my wife's name out of your motherfucking mouth. No. <laughs> oh man. Uh, but yeah, what? Wh what the fuck? Seven items in my inventory from what? I got Oliver Swift, Ticket Jerry. Oliver Swift, Randy, Mayor Mingus. Oh, hey, it's the it's the cat mayor. It's the cat mayor. <laughs> That's great. Wait, what? Wait, you can sell these. What? What? Why can you sell these? That is fucking odd. How's life been, Spammo? Ah, uh, it's been pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> she keeps like falling off. Um, Dial Town. All right, I'm gonna turn off this music. Cause Dial Town already has its own beautiful soundtrack. All right, and I'm gonna just yeah. Got got the got the hunks in the background. Oh yeah. Let's fucking go, baby. <laughs> Alright. Uh, can you see the chat over it, though? Yeah, you can see the chat over it. Sweet, sweet. Your silent back room sounds like... I don't even know what the... I don't even know what the fuck that was going for. Alright, Mama Wait, Kitty. Fly me to the back rooms. Let me feel for my life. <laughs> right. Uh. What I was trying to say there was that your silent background sounds like the back rooms. What? What the fuck is this option? I've never gone into the miscellaneous here. Shrimp colors. Enhancement option for any shrimp who might be playing. Dude, this is made for me. Hello, spam. Bruh. Hello, fat duck days. Uh, maybe it's just me, but it feels like there's been less people attending your streams than normal, which is a shame. Yeah, it does suck. But I just, uh, I don't know. I think it might have something to do with the fact that I, I mark my videos down as not being appropriate for children. And that in turn, like, age restricts every single one of my videos. Uh, which, you know, makes sense. Uh, and age restricted videos basically just don't show up. For people outside of the people who are subscribed. Like, almost never unless they have, like, a big following. Um, Your streams are marked as 18+. plus. What's that? Your streams are marked as 18+. plus. Yeah. I, Mama Kitty. Another... 
but that doesn't make yeah. sense. My account isn't my account isn't set as eighteen; it's set as seventeen. Yeah, and, I well, still, and I'm still able to. YouTube watch is YouTube is kind of uh, fucked. I I don't know, but I have I mean, every single one. I have every single one of my videos set to no. This is not appropriate for children. Uh, all right. Turn on shrimp colors now. All right, we're gonna see what shrimp colors do. Yeah. Oh no. Um, I don't see any immediate effect. Sam, you still got your VTuber model up. What's that? Oh yeah. Yeah, he's a he's a honker. Honk honk. Oh yeah, last time we seduced Bigfoot. Hey yo. Yeah boy. All right. So. Uh, we've only done the side dates so far. So, let's do- Ooh! This cat. Okay, honey. You're gonna have to go sit on the bed. I'm sorry. I know. I Damn, know. I made a Discord server. Nice. Mama kitty. You're gonna fall off. Sorry. I, I'm Put a kitty. time into the reaction rolls and then they just don't work for some reason. Yeah. Like literally, I put, I put, I spent the time setting up the commands for hours, and then they just don't work. Yeah. Tell okay. me now. Go, Mama Kitty. I love you. I love you very much. You're a sweet and beautiful old kitty cat. All right. What do shrimp colors do? I don't know. Uh, it'll probably, like, unlock some, like, secret or something. Like, a fucking shrimp will just show up. Hello. Smartphones are wonderful and all, but honestly, old landline and rotary phones just have a certain aesthetic you can't quite top, you know? That, or maybe it's just from Spamton influencing me, but I don't know. <laughs> You've got a great... taste. <laughs> Alright, so we need to encourage an artist to follow her dreams, save a dying theater from ruin, and help a man emerge from a dumpster for a final time. Alright, sounds easy enough. Would you like to skip Dial Town's intro? Available on repeat playthroughs. Uh, I don't know, do we have some people here who haven't seen Dial Town before? If so, the intro is pretty funny. But we could just skip right into it. It's all up to you. You choose. Choose your fate. Just. <laughs> the music's just cut out, so it's just. It's just fucking dead air. Play it once. Enter your I name. I think it might make the colors a bit more vivid. Uh, maybe. Excuse me. Heart boom. Mayhap. It's just gonna be like blinding. Select a head. Phone head. Maybe you need to oh, reset I, the game for. I, I actually for skipped it. Actually... I actually skipped it. Hold on. Hold on. I accidentally, uh, skipped the intro. <laughs> Whoopsie. Goral. Okay, here we go. Let's fucking go, baby! Uh, play it once and skip it. Right. Uh, no, I would not like to skip it. Thank you very much. Hello! Welcome to Dial Town, phone dating sim. You must now answer this hound's questions three. Alright, let's do it. Is hey, there any demon dog? 
Alright, is there any particular reason you're speaking in all caps? Wait, am I me right now, or me right now? <laughs> uh, let's see. Is there any particular reason? Yes. Yeah. Shut. Let's do that. Nice oh, no. to meet you. I am trapped in orbit and poorly adjusting to zero gravity. Oh, jeez. We made stay, the dog mad. Stay warm. <laughs> All right. Now, if you'd shut up, I can ask you what your name is. Damn. Uh. Oh, right. Anywho, what's your name? Funingi. Jack. The boy. Really? That's your name? Oh, hon. I'm so sorry. Well, that is a splendid thumbnail I just noticed. Oh yeah, it's it's fucking beautiful. It's 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 gorgeous. It's probably my my magnum opus. Waffle pup. Pup with the waffle in him. Waggledolf. And what's that supposed to mean? Hmm, nope, don't like that response. I'm just how God made me, dog. <laughs> do that last one, do that last one. Thought I heard something out there. I'm just how dog made me. I yeah. am God. <laughs> Anywho, second question. Holy crap. Select a head. Do we, what? Which do we want to go with this time? Do we going to want to go typewriter head or phone head? We've gone phone head every time. You want to go typewriter for the first time? Yeah, let's do typewriter. Nectar dodo? Uh, question mark? Skull? Wiggly n? I? the fuck dog man i need some i what the fuck is wait i just noticed how fucked this is like F three four two seven five one eight zero nine. What the fuck? That's weird as shit. All right, type waiter. It's a type wronger. Nice those numbers. <laughs> nice. Enjoy having to use your own head to write smut fan fiction just to be able to afford the occasional glass of turn up water. <laughs> to be frank. Sounds kinky to be frank. Mm -hmm. Amazing. I've never wondered if it was possible to castrate a player before. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna I'm gonna write my fiction my fan fiction about you, dog. That's right. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. Now there's some people coming in. Now we're at five. Nice. Castrate. Now, final question. What the dog saying to me? Alright, what gender What's do you want to doing? be? A boy. A girl. A hot dog. What? Is that a fucking dodo? Yeah, that's a dodo bird. Alright. Hot dog. Yes, I am a hot dog. Yes. Don't pick other than to make you a feed us. <laughs> huh. Not sure what to fill in. Uh, fuck. Not sure what to fill in on this line of the questionnaire. Questionnaire? There's no paper. You're just asking me questions. Do not question the hound. I can't be too loud because, you know, it is really late. Warning, NPCs yeah, Sam, will... Only... What's up? Yes, yeah, Sam, I'm staying up at like 3.30 just so I can watch your stream. I'm devoted. This is fucking oh, devotion. Well, get some sleep when you need it.
extinct. Warning. What is sleep at this point? <laughs> sleep, sleep important. Warning. NPCs will occasionally refer to you by your species. Goblin. I'm a fucking goblin, bro? Well, that would explain some things. Where perfect... I would perfect... like to be referred to as a protogen. <laughs> Where perfect gender neutral equivalent terms are not readily available. Thanks, <laughs> Daddy Doggo. What did I say about calling me... <laughs> Get out of my sight. Gonklin. Yeah, it's right, I'm a Gonklin. Deal with it. Well, yeah, we still have to finish the good route of Day Shift at Freddy's, too. Or not Day Shift at Freddy's 2, but Day Shift at Freddy's 3, also. Hmm. You, sinful creature. Seems I'm alive again. Out, oh, darn. I hate it when I do that. Green creature. Hmm. My non specific reproductive organs are firm and ripe. They must be getting ready to hatch. The time for reproduction is now. I'm st I'll keep listening to the stream, alright? Mm, I'm thinking. I must find a deep, dark, dank pit to lay my eggs in. Bro? Bro what? Fairground. Fairground is dark, dank, and greasy. Fairground is not. Plentiful supply of carnival food nearby. Yes. Right, you play as an egg-laying object, Ehad. Wonderful. <laughs> I must go to the carnival. Mmm, yummy. Looking... Oh god, the scents are wrong. <laughs> yummy. Anyways, I'm gonna go enjoy peanut pizza with pineapple on it. Ooh, yum. Yummers. You hear Cancel that there's... Cancel me if you want to. What's that? Cancel me if you want to. Oh, <laughs> right. I'm trying to figure out how to... Prop up my. Eh. I want to prop up my microphone a bit so I don't have to crank my freaking neck down. But yeah, that's cool that there's gonna be a new Witcher game. I fucking I, I love, love the Witcher. Witchers. What? Do you seriously not know what the Witcher is? No, actually. Oh man. <laughs> You're in fucking luck, brother. God damn. You're gonna fucking love it. Uh so it it's a it's a series of books, but the books uh inspired these games. Uh and the games are really fucking good. Uh like really, really good. The books are absolutely astounding. I I I read them all. Uh but uh, I think what you're gonna really like, uh, most of all, cause it's like the easiest to consume. On Netflix, there's uh, a, a full like series adaptation, and it's fucking amazing. Like it's actually one of the good things to come from Netflix. Hmm. All right. Is good. I mean, other mic than is off. Other thing. You mind just step? All right. But yeah, yeah, you know, you should definitely check it out. It's really fucking good. It's really good. Uh, basically, like, uh, I'm not gonna go into too much detail because I don't want to keep us here forever. Basically, uh, monsters are, it's like a, a 
like a fantasy, like older times, like fucking like you know, like like knights and shit, like era kind of thing. Uh, and uh, they there's like monsters everywhere, and uh, they they ha they have to like fucking make these fucking like super soldiers basically uh called witchers uh to kill the monsters and yeah it's really really cool i'm 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 yeah i'm grossly oversimplifying it but it's good it's good but yeah all right let us continue i don't think about getting it yeah yeah i mean you can watch it yeah you can watch on netflix and shit or you can just you know uh, totally not streaming on a streaming site, you know. Wink, wink. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there we have it. The carnival. So close, yet so far. <coughs> Ow! Ow. My ears. I took them, I'm about to head off. Alright. I see, see ya. Probably gonna go, probably gonna go stream at Netflix for the Stone Ocean release date. Nice. Yeah, Stone Ocean's kinda disappointing. Yeah, next, next part is releasing in, uh, October. Yeah. What? <clears throat> yeah, Stone Ocean part, part two is releasing in October. Or somewhere mm -hmm. around the fall. Nice. Must gain entry. Must penetrate defenses of mile high railings. I mean, those railings are hardly a mile high. Bastard narrator, need lay eggs. <laughs> Is my mic too loud? Uh, a little bit, but I can turn it down. Okay. No, oh, just he just left. Yeah, he's. I think he's just setting up his mic. Gotcha. I like how every company like is like illegal streaming sites are bad, and everyone. Okay, just how like, about yeah, now? Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, that's that's it's good. Basically the same. Yeah. Okay, I can't fix this. Well, I can just turn it down. No, 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 it's more handleable. It's more bearable. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. There you go. Uh, I like, uh, okay, I already read that. Well, you know, you could always just go in through the main gate. A plan so crazy, it just might work. Nice. We're gonna, we're gonna penetrate the defenses of Ticket Jerry. Greetings, Ticket Buffoon. It's like a half papyrus. My name is Jerry, but okay. My green acquaintance. How can I help you today? I wish to gain entrance, Jerry of the ticket booth. Well, do you wish to buy a ticket, goblin? Nah, it's fine. I don't, I don't want to piss behind any of your rides this year. I simply wish to find a fitted hole to lay my eggs in. Okay. Kind of sucks, not gonna lie. Right. Okay, you definitely need to buy a ticket from us if you want to do that. Rats. Freaking flies, man. They're freaking crazy. I don't want them to freaking climb on the camera. All right. What time is it for you guys? It's like 2.30 at night. Oh, it's 5.30 for me. Nice. 5.30, yeah. <sighs> Please don't- slept in seven hours. Jesus, man. Nice. Sleep. Please don't bang on the glass. It scares Jerry. No refunds. How 
much would that cost? Two dollars. Fudge. I have zero. Tell me, young squire. Would you accept tales, stories, and other such whimsical parables at payment? No. No, I would not. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna fucking fully lean into the papyrus. Oh, shoot. I was so close to... Hey, wait a minute. You have zero dollars, can you bump down- I have zero dollars, can you bump down the price? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wish I could freaking. Wish there's a way to like... I don't know, like, extend the fucking microphone. It's terrible. Aren't you that gremlin that lives in the tent? Oh wait, oh, it, it changed fucking old hag to fucking, uh, or crone to fucking, uh, gremlin. It's neat. Respecting my pronouns. Extend your microphone? Have you heard of your hands? Well, I kind of need my hands. Also, you don't know how hard it is to just hold your fucking ha hand like this for like three, four hours. Just use telepathy. Oh no! My cover has been blown! Look, goblin beast of indiscriminable species and gender. I'm only telling you this because your stench is gonna drive away customers. If you loiter around here, if you, if you loiter around here uninhibited for any longer. It's Valentine's Day today. Valen- what? A Valentine's Day? Isn't that for romantic people? Yeah, but... Didn't you say that you have eggs to lay, or some other bizarre drivel to that effect? Surely, you have a maid of some kind if you're getting ready to lay eggs. A test the sock. Hmm? Does this sock under my mattress count? Nah, I'm a loner. Does the sock in my living room that my brother refuses to pick up count? I don't like the implications of that. Okay, fuck it. I'm cutting to the chase because I can only take about three more dialogue options from you before my head combusts. Right. <laughs> Valentine's Day is for people who are, you know, in love. Love? What on God's green earth is that? Is this love thing a type of feeling? I really don't do those things. <laughs> um. <laughs> well, sorta. Oh my God. Here we go, boys. Love is what happens when two grown-ups start craving more than just business handshakes and platonic ice cream breaks. Love makes people want to go on romantic ice cream dates and drink all kinds of exotic elixirs and elixir elixirs and nectars together. When two grown-ups are in love, they'll make joint bank accounts together and go to the movies and feed popcorn kernels to the rats and cockroaches there. And one day, if you're lucky, your partner will take the kids away forever and go marry Steve, the guy in accounting firm who works in the same cubicle as you, but makes 6% more per year than you, and you can finally have a good night's sleep. Right? That's love, my scary friend. 
What? What are you guys reading? Oh, uh, I'm playing Dial Town. Yeah. Oh. Projecting, right? <laughs> yeah, it's just fucking projecting, dude. It's projecting more than the fucking movie theater. That was terrible. I hate it. <laughs> Right? That's love, my scary friend. Speaking of which... Is it on YouTube or something? Oh my... Yeah, yeah. Oh my fucking god. Dude. Oh, man. Oh, by the way, yeah, I posted a link to it in, in general. But, oh man. You know, the reason why he's probably working here, of all places, is probably because he got fired from that fucking accounting job because he killed the fucking... Other dude. <laughs> God. Alright. Um, okay, I already read that. Two tickets for the price of one for couples who were in love. Projecting. Holy shit, it's venting. Why, dusters? Why? If you can somehow bring... Oh, if you can somehow convince someone to bring you here, you can... I don't know. Force them to pay you in like a parasite. Hello. Oh. What if the, the goblin dude and the ticket guy get together? Oh God, right? I want to go with Ticket Jerry. Ticket with Jerry. Granted, it'd take a real bastard to mission acquired. God. I hope. I hope the mic isn't clipping. <laughs> that would suck. It's not clipping. It's okay. Okay. Oh god fucking must source mate. Okay. Uh go do that. Away from here. Right. <laughs> must source mate. Okay, me go now. Just to see, Mr. Jerry Ticket, I'll be back with a smoking hot babe. Hey, hey, Ticket Jerry, are you by any chance free on Valentine's Day? For the third one. I will call the police. Route lost. Damn. Scuttle away. Third. Damn. Why, why can't I? Wait. What? Why can't you date Mary, okay. bro? Right? Fuck, man. Chapter one: The Fun Fair Date. Ooh, no way. so romantic. A third. Ah. <sighs> Why can't I fuck Jerry? A mooth. A mooth? <laughs> Don't you mean a math? Wait, Among that's Us? Pronounced. I it was it's actually pronounced methyl. Okay. It gets a new pronunciation every two minutes. Fucking. Okay, got it. Fucking string from my coat is just fucking sticking to me, bro. Ah, ten sweet tent. To find a well-functioning member of society to latch onto like a parasite, you'll have to leave your tent, you know. Damn, I hate moving, even when necessary. Can't I just lay my eggs here? <laughs> Do I have to? Great stuff, let's go lay these eggs! Oh god, oh god, I don't... I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like... I don't like... Uh... did he get his eggs anyway? <laughs> he, uh... He, he, he asexually reproduces. Oh. <laughs> yes. Wait, I, I believe... Meth? I, I, no, I believe... I believe it's actually fucking... Uh, I believe that's actually, like, what it says in the game, too. Is that he just fucking... Literally just makes his own babies. That's weird. Yeah. Oh man. 
Oh my god, fucking, I don't know why this just popped into my head, but I just found out about this. Uh, I just found out about this. Fucking, everybody's blowing up about fucking Will Smith fucking, you know, smacking the shit out of Chris Rock at the Oscars. But literally, I, I, I just found this out today. Fucking, uh, no, 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 I just found, I found, I just found this out today, five months ago. Fucking, I think, I think it was Alec Baldwin. I'm 99% sure it was Alec Baldwin. They were shooting a movie? Oh, that's, that's, that's a dark pun. I didn't even, I didn't even intend that. But you know what, fucking, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the credit, you know, fuck it. Pun, pun intended. But, uh, they were shooting a movie, and fucking... Alec Baldwin, he just, he just, he just, they, they were shooting the movie, and, and, and the, the filmmaker was like, I was like, okay, just point, point the, point the gun at the, at the camera, and just, like, like, cock it back, right? But, the dumbass was holding on, to, he, he had like, his, he was like, gripping the gun, full-fisted, so his fucking, his finger was already down on the trigger, and they had been using a real gun for target practice, and they just kind of like left it there, and people were like, oh. So they misfired? Yeah, yeah pretty much. Well, it's basically, it, um... It, he, he was he was he was he was holding down on the trigger he cocked it back and let go of the hammer and it just fucking fired and just killed the filmmaker and severely injured the woman behind her so he just he, yeah he just he just fucking killed one girl and fucking almost killed another and, and nobody Nobody's talking about it. There's like there's like 10 there's like 10 or so news articles from like 5 months ago and then like 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 five more about like fucking uh an update that that the the, the family of the fucking person who was shot is fucking suing him. And that's it. What the shit? Is it that popular though? Is what that popular? The shooting you know no no it it, it's it, not... it literally it, it, it fucking it, I haven't seen any youtubers make any videos about it at all and people just like latch on to that kind of shit you know like so it, I, it really surprises me that there's only like you know just fucking you know fucking whatever fucking channel 5 news kind of fucking bullshit yeah, it's fucking wild. Yeah. God motherfucking damn. And people yeah. are more interested in a black guy slapping another black guy. It's it's That's it's, just how America works. It's wild. <laughs> yeah, it's it's wild. I, I just I, I don't even I don't even know. Okay. But the the weirdest part about it is that, like, everybody on the phone, when, uh, like, the 911 phone call, everybody's just so calm. Everybody's just so calm. Like, like, they, they sounded like they were just fucking having a, having a conversation about how the movie's going. Like, they... Oh, yeah, yeah, some girl got shot. Yeah. She died, yeah. Yeah. He literally got, like, a fucking, fucking collat, you know? Like, he, like, he almost got two... I looked it up and there's tons of videos talking about the interviews, but they're all in Spanish. Well, yeah, no, no, like, like I said, it's just, there's just fucking news articles, or, or not, not news articles, but news, like, videos, news report videos, but there's no, like, nobody's talking about it. It wasn't trending on Twitter, it wasn't, YouTubers aren't making videos about it, fucking, nobody's, like, talking about it, and yet, Will Smith fucking smacks Chris Rock and everybody yeah everybody just blows up it's like what the fuck dude what I'm gonna say is that that's how America works 
We're so desensitized. We're so desensitized that things like that don't even like, don't even like blip. Yeah, they don't even fucking register. But the juicy drama, the beef, the the the, you know the 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 sauce, you know, like 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 just that that yeah that gets us going. It's kind of it's kind of fucking. If it's not funny, no one cares, basically. Yeah, yeah, like it's 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 so stupid. It's so dumb. <laughs> I'm such an incel. I have not seen the light in hours. I just turned on the light and I got fucking flashbacks. <laughs> I feel you there. Me in real life. But yeah, uh, on a lighter note though, uh, we should continue with the game though. But but on a lighter note though, real quick, fucking. Uh, it, it kind of sucks, but it's it's also kind of like really nice. Uh, Jim Carrey said in an interview that he's gonna be retiring. Uh, yeah, so he's not gonna be making any more movies anymore. So his very last movie is going to be Sonic the Hedgehog two. <laughs> oh, there's that guy. Okay. So I can't wait to see that movie. So. Yeah, yeah, it was it was actually really good. I, I I watched it the other night. It was actually really really good. Sonic two. What's that? Yeah, number you two. Want there, Sonic two. Yeah, there's a there's a camera rip online. I mean what? What? There's a there's a there's a cam rip. Of course. Yeah. It's pretty decent quality. But yeah, no, I, I like the like, movie. It was good. Is the quality like grandma quality or something? Yeah, no, it's not good by any means. But it's it's it, it was it was a lot better than most of them. Uh, I haven't really been knowing nothing about anything. I got gotcha. you. All the news here are only exclusively covering the riots. Yeah, yeah, no, for real. Jim Carrey has made some absolute banger movies absolute bangers the 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 other night while i was going to sleep i uh i i, I watched the uh the number 23 i kind of fell asleep like three-fourths into the movie i mean not because of the movie or anything it's just because you know i was trying to sleep uh but it was it was it was really good i liked it the mask, yeah, the mask is great. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> anyway. That's what the point of the mask is. <laughs> Shut up. Great stuff! Let's go lay these eggs. Brilliant. No. Friendly reminder! Oh, okay. He's just reminding me about the fucking pause menu. Why do you give the dog a femboy voice? <laughs> well. Bass. Kind of bass. Not gonna lie. Wow. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I, I, I kinda, I kinda, I kinda gave him something, something sort of like fucking, uh, God, what's his name? Fucking Jack from fucking Beastars. Neither am I just saying nonsense. Just typing that. <laughs> Leave your tent, open your menu, or give up on your love quest. Yeah, we, we gave up on our love quest last time and just shit all our eggs out right in the tent. Leave your tent. No oh, shit, I didn't. Oh, okay. Leave your tent. You just get stabbed by your own hair. <laughs> uh, by your own hair? Yeah. Yeah, I have. Oh, it's not even worse. It, I don't know. It, it's it, it's like a very rare thing, but like sometimes it can just be like pointed just right. Just fucking shank you. <laughs> oh, that's so. Uh... Well, right. I don't have long hair. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, scratch that. To the park. To the nearby playground. To Uptown Dial Town. Let's go to the playground. Go to the playground. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. 
fucking go, baby. Are gonna look at you wrong. Yo, there's a fucking straight ghost over here. Yo. There's a oh, that, that ghost is balling. balling the ghost bro. is balling. But um, <laughs> god damn it, you're kicked Even out. This person is balling more than me. God damn. You're kicked out, man. Get it? Cause he kicks soccer. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> God damn it, that's fucking terrible. Oh man. I can't get a leg up. Bad joke of the year. Bad joke. Right, right. <laughs> oh oh my. my parents. Right, yeah, no, for real. Ah, the playground. As long as you stay exactly 25 feet from the perimeter of this zone of merriment, you shouldn't be legally prosecutable. Wait, the guy's a pedo? Hey, you got, you got, uh, you, 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 you'll find out, you'll find out. So, what now? Let me see. I should probably save, just in case I fucking, I don't know, like, get arrested or some shit. That's not so something. Like, that's yeah, not something. Yeah, that's not something you should. That's not something you should be saying when you're at a playground. Like, like I gotta save just in case I get arrested. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Mm, that would be a terrible thing. Measure the ground. Does this man just keep a I fucking... Wait, he's naked. How does he... Never mind. Wait. Does it, Make sure does he he's safe. In his foreskin? Oh, God. <laughs> foreskin pocket. Oh, God. Just uses dick as a ruler. <laughs> oh, no. No, it's terrible. Alright. Exactly 25.05 feet away. Perfect. You know, now might be a good time to reflect on child labor laws and why we're no longer legally allowed to get any closer to this very playground again in the first place. Shut. I refrain to learn from my lessons. Oh, fuck. M fuck. I fucked that up. Right, huh? Summon a nearby kid. Childa! 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 Come gather round, Childa! I sound like an old grandma. <laughs> oh god. I, I, I wish I could, I wish I could get the fucking, that, you know that one, that, that one fucking, that one fucking uh text or text to voice or whatever it's fucking called like the texas texas speech no no <laughs> yeah yeah text to speech okay yeah duh uh so yeah yeah you know that one text to speech voice that's like that one fucking kid voice that's just like hey bozo <laughs> like i can't i can't it's i can't fucking remember oh, I know what you're talking yeah about. yeah yeah that one <laughs> Okay, you can. Child. I can stream it on uh, on Discord if you want to see it faster. Let's see, screen. Yeah, that might be helpful. Boop. Yeah. Go live. Let's hope since too lacky. Uh, it's not showing up. Okay, hold on one second. I need to change my screen. I'll just use the actual we'll screen later. There we go. All right. Child. <sighs> I'm a child. What of it? <laughs> I'm four foot seven. I smell like grass. Despite never touching it, due to me having a gross app on my phone, and I take my crystal meth licorice flavored. <laughs> Get 
kids grow up so fast nowadays. Why, I remember when I was your age. A mere hatchling. <laughs> Why, my tail hadn't even grown yet. Still waiting on that bad boy to regrow, but once it does... Damn, how do you know? Joke's on you, you vertically stunted shitlord. I measured the ground before summoning you. Look at me. I am just within an irresponsibly marginal but still legal distance. Ha! Huh. <laughs> No. -uh. <laughs> we learned about two-digit numbers of school yesterday, so your reptile brain bullshit won't work on me this time, bozo. <laughs> well, double jokes on you, you little scrout. The law says that I can't get within twenty-five feet of the playground. Not the little scroats contained in within its confines. <laughs> Lovely. Technically, you approached me. I win. <laughs> so, if I get back to the slide, you won't be able to talk to me without shouting? Damn you. Okay, see you later then, bo Please, no, no, I need intel. <laughs> this is the question about the birds and the bees and I'm oh, sorry. God. Dad got really angry when I asked him about that for you. <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> the freaking big ol' spider on my fucking wall. I hate that. You ever just oh. get attacked by a cockroach, my, my guy? Oh god, thankfully not. Turns out, shit gets nasty when birds cook. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no, no, not that question this time. <laughs> God damn it. This time. <laughs> what he said this time. Wow. Can you pay me into the fun fair? What are the new cool words? Say, what do kids eat? Now fucking I'm done, you dismissed child. Cool words. No, cool I'm words. Done, you're <laughs> oh man, cool is new drool. What you need are some quality slurs. Oh my god. God damn it. Word. I'm listening. But aren't those the bad words? Pass. I'm listening. Now, I'm sure you know all the popular ones, like calling an inexperienced drug salesman Aladdin, or referring to a slightly unfamiliar dog as a groucho. But the mightiest slur of them all, oh god. Hmm? <laughs> Krongus. God. Wow, fucking Krungus, dude. That's. Mm. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Mm. Man, you think a fight, and it's a kid just calling you Krungus out of nowhere. Right. I, I'd be, I'd be fucking like, fearing for my life. It's, you smell like, like a cheat you smell like an apple. But instead of locking you an extra life or more money, it just works you a particularly painful death. Oh God. Hey, you fucking Krungus! Whoa! <laughs> oof! 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 <laughs> Awful! Thanks for sharing. Alright. See ya. 
My pleasure, green one. What? Do you want to do it? Are we done here or what? Can you pay me into the fun fair? Are you seriously begging from children now? You sunk that low? No, it was a jest, merely a hilarious joke. I am always capable of such things, and there is no lower that I can sink to now. Oh, it is kind of bad, by the way. Sure, I guess, hmm? but like... I'm a literal child. If I have money? Don't play dumb with me, Billy, you juvenile shit stain. I know your dad gives you pocket money for doing your weekly chores. Cough up the money or your kneecaps. <laughs> okay, forgot the threatening part. I bit off a more bit more than I can chew. God damn it. <laughs> Imagine getting intimidated by a fucking child. Come on, man, I'm desperate. I need somewhere damp and moist to lay my eggs. Okay, I'll stop you right there. Two dollars and seven cents to my name. Which, which only afford me one ticket. Ah, shit. Guess I'll have to abandon you at the gates then. N no, you see, there's a two for one Valentine's offer on. Yeah, for couples, Bozo. God. <laughs> Stop thinking like a cryptid and start thinking like a civilized person that can be in prison in grown-up jail. <laughs> Stop thinking like a cryptid. That's the best damn insult I've ever heard. Oh, uh, right. Shit. Keep thinking, Bozo. God, th that's pretty sad when the fuck when the fucking child is like. One of the smartest fucking characters in this entire game. Exactly. Sorry, pal, but you gotta make it on your own. I understand. Bitch. <laughs> Say, what do kids eat? Trying to lure more kids away to clean your tent again? God damn it. <laughs> God, no. Me. You are, aren't you? Yes. Now answer the question, you preep, you Benson shit stain. You've already used that one. Don't double dip on your insults. I bet you're just being <laughs> lazy. Yeah. Dude, there's these fucking weird ass things. Like, high C chew, like, fucking soda candies. I remember that. Like, but they're like. They're so fucking weird, dude. They're like. Do you still eat Jolly Ranchers? What? Jolly Ranchers. Do you know what those are? Dude, I, I I literally have a fucking bag of them right here. Fucking oh, bastard. Yeah. Uh, there's right there. I just oh, no, I dropped it. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> okay, well that's that. <laughs> now answer the question, you prepubescent shit stain. Personally, I consume an X. Exclusive diet of glitter, mellow molding, modeling, modeling clay, <laughs> chocolate milk, and chicken nuggets, like like most kids my age. Jesus Christ, I can't read. <laughs> I feel you. You want to write this down? I can't really write. Oh, because you don't have a pen. Sure. <laughs> Dog slice man. <laughs> oh, what else do you want, Bozo? God, he likes using that word, Bozo. 
Right? Nah, fuck it, I'm done. You're dismissed, child. I do have a name, you know? Yeah, and I don't care to learn it. Be gone, stunted one. God. It's laser bozo. God, that that that's a that's a that's a fucking quality insult right there. Damn. Yeah. Stunted one. All right, so we're gonna leave the playground, or maybe see what's in the menu. You break it, you buy it. A quote by Joseph mm. Stalin. Oh, wait. <laughs> Adolf Hitler or something. What? Uh, yeah, uh, he, he's basically like, uh, he's kind of up there with him, yeah. Uh, he was the, the the leader of Russia for a while. Pretty pretty nasty dude. Okay. That's alright then. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Where would you go? To the park. To your tent. To Uptown Dial Town. Hmm. Uptown Dial Town. There's like no other option, honestly. <laughs> it... Let's go to the park. Fuck it, dude. Let's be free. Let's fly. Ah. The park. You could go. Roll around on the nice spring grass. Unless you mind getting a... Unless you mind... Uh, unless you mind getting a few discarded syringes stuck in your arm. So, what now? We're gonna go touch grass, dude. It's relaxation time, friendos. You have friends? Shut. <laughs> nice. Ah, uh, isn't this just tranquil? It really is quite serene, yes. It's good to get away from the big city. I got something in my eye. The one you... Uh, the one you're like only two yards further away from? Yeah, the peacefulness really helps unclench the old sphincter, alright. Needle time. Yep. Sure. I'm gonna do this more often. Well, usually the grass here is laden with blades, syringes, and other unmentionables. I can't speak. Well, it's a good thing that. <laughs> what? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Gah! Fuck my fucking arm! Oh god! Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh no! <laughs> Ouch! Yeah, I think that'll leave a stretch or two, alright? This is why I hate nature and shit! <laughs> well, technically syringes are completely man-made and used, so like... Silence, narrator! God. Yeah, you might want to find a band-aid or ten for a few of those little scrapes if you can. Then again, your penniless and bandages don't exactly grow on trees. Oh, but you syringes grow in fields! <laughs> How is that even remotely fair? No, <laughs> oh, shut up, you wounded crybaby. Come on, back to the park we go then. My fucking arm! <laughs> Knife grass. Yeah, dude. It gives a whole new meaning to. Blades of grass. I'm sorry. I wish I could eat blades of grass. <laughs> hey. Turn that Bill works off. You just turn, in, turn into a fucking cow. Start grazing. Actually, scratch that. To Uptown Dial Down. To your tent. To the nearby playground. Let's go to Uptown Dial Down. Fuck it, baby. Let's go. Let's fucking go. 
Ah, uh, Uptown Dial Town. Home of everything and I'm everyone. Hey. Not cool enough to be in Downtown Dial Town. A place for lame people? The perfect place to find someone to latch on to. So, what now? Uh, summon a local hobo, talk to a local bystander. My mage of the greens uses blades grass. Mage proceeds to throw you syringes and broken shards of glass. Nice. That's how you fucking do it, baby. Let's see. Let's talk to a local bystander. Oh, God, it's Mikey. Howdy do, green partner. The name's Mikey, which is short for... Ma Actually, scratch that. Mikey works just fine. Hey, my name's Jack. Nice to meet you. Me, Jack. Hello. Well, pleased to make your acquaintance, partner. So, what can I do you for on this fine spring afternoon? Hello? <laughs> Can you take me to the fun fair, please? That hurt my throat. Ow. I did that wrong. <laughs> Time to scuttle off then, laters. Oh, shucks, partner. I would, don't get me wrong. But, alas, I'm actually on my way to a book signing. Here looking at Dialtown's new best-selling writing. Writing? Writer. Can't speak. That's fine, man. I was merely trying to use you for a free ticket. Basically, I'm trying to scam a sucker into paying for me into the fun fair. Well, if he's a fucking writer, I'm sure he can afford to throw me two bucks. I'm back. Welcome back. I'm just a sponge, you see. <laughs> Here's my fucking favorite line of the game so far. Mere licking pawn scum. <laughs> well, now, ain't that a quinky dink? All oh, my best sellers Talk happen to, to be a bi- Alright. <laughs> all of my best sellers happen to be about parasites of all kinds. You won't find a man who knows more about parasitalism in all of downtown- and Fucking- in all of downtown. What is that noise? And all of Dial Town, partner. Speaking of, let me know what I can do you for, cause any longer and I'll be running tardy. So if you're into parasites, are you, are you into me? Pal, no <laughs> offense, but I find you mildly upsetting a gawk cat. None taken, I get that a lot. <laughs> Though, if you do happen to have, say, a few tapeworms wriggling around in that gut of yours, give me a call. If you do, there might be some free isopod grub in it for you. It's kind of edible. What kind of creature do you take me for, huh? You look like you probably ha eat what I have in my bag. You're totally right. I would. Is it kibble? Can I have some? <laughs> Call me later and find out, partner. Nice. <laughs> For now, is that all? So what the fuck is an isopod? Uh, let me go just... Or you can not throw it up. I think it's like a bug. It's, yeah, okay, so yeah, it's just like those little fucking scuttlers. <laughs> Ah, I see. You just learned something new. Yeah. I wonder what a shrimp is. What is a shrimp classified as? I don't know what a shrimp are. 
No, okay, they're decapods. I was I was just wondering if I was just wondering if fucking the the isopod oh, food had anything. What? Oh, oh, you mean you really didn't know what shrimp are? Oh. <laughs> Imagine tongue louses can cling on to humans. Oh god, yeah, that'd be terrible. So yeah, this one is just the the tongue louse thing. Come on, you son of a bitch! Don't skip my fucking dialogue, you wiener. Anytime, partner. So this is this book about? It's all about people. Oh, people, you know. Parasites. Nice. This, uh, this dude is a very accomplished, very accomplished author. Yeah. Yeah, good. Damn it. Damn it. That's the only book he has. <laughs> right on, man. Sayonara, partner. Goodbye. Oh, hello, hobo. Hobo of Dial Town. I summon thee. Look, it's Flanders, but he has a phone. He likes parasites a little too much, right? If he had an obsession with fucking parasites instead of God. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, nice to meet you, friend. Oh, the name's Hound. You need some? Are you indeed a hobo? What's that? I like how his TV is a dog. I think. Yeah. It's a dog. Dude, uh, the, uh, every time I see this guy, I can't see anything other than fucking internet comment etiquette fucking Salvia Eric. I can't... I can't see anything else. Like, he just... He just look... The body just looks like fucking Eric. Even the fucking, like, you shit he's wearing. What's that? Do you think some of these people are just from Getty Images or something? Yeah, totally. Although, I mean, for 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 the uh, Day Shift to Freddy's ones, definitely 100%. Uh, but for this one, I think he actually had, like, models actually, like, pose and shit. Um, lawful dog. Are you indeed a hobo? Hey, nice to meet you. You new around here? New? Pal, I'm the oldest thing alive. A pardon? Even older than, like, a dainy, sir? <laughs> okay, counting dead things is like cheating and stuff. But yeah, I'm older than pretty much every dinosaur I've met. Yeah, thing is, I'm kind of like God and stuff. I created everything around you right now and farted out in the cosmos and the stars and shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of a big deal, actually. You look like a hobo. <laughs> Those things are mutually exclusive, friendo. So if you're God, then how did you end up creating everything? You ever like... Leave your takeout box in the corner of your room and forget to bend the box only to find a new species evolve in the remains of your chicken Thai curry for last month. That took a lot out of me. That took like every ounce of oxygen in my lungs. Kick me, I'm God. This world is my takeout box. I'm the hungover dude gazing upon the infinite possibility and disgust and all. Yeah. It's nice to meet you. Okay. Hi, God Dog. Punch God. Do a save file and then punch God. That would be so funny. 
Right. <clears throat> I gotta get going. Are you drunk right now? What's your favorite hobby? If you're a god, then what's the meaning of life then? Aren't you afraid that you'll be arrested for standing on the road? Punch God. Can you pay me into the fun there, God? Hmm. God, how much would that even cost? One, maybe even two dollars? Do I look like I have two dollars right now? Aren't you God? Don't you control reality? Darn, I guess that explains... Darn, I guess that explains why you're a smelly hobo dog. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that and I'm just too stubborn to live anywhere that I didn't create myself. But if you're God, didn't you create everywhere? Well, plants, trees and shit. Anywhere outside? Yeah, I can take credit for that, sure. Buildings? Concrete? Don't know what you fucking onions are doing with rock, but it's blasphemy and I don't care for it much at all. <laughs> God damn it. He even fucking speaks like Eric, dude. But you sleep on a street. There's hardly any more trees and plants on the street than, let's say, the park. You ever tried to lay down at the park? I swear the bench there is the only human-length surface area not covered in syringes and badger shit. God damn. You know I'm right. Oh, painfully so. Plus, concrete aside, there's dumpsters aplenty around here. Free food whenever you feel like it. The only thing is food poisoning. Yeah. Long gone are the days where cavemen would have to hunt squirrels with stone crossbows whenever they'd get peckish. Raccoons have already figured this out, by the way, and literally just scurry around and eat trash all day. I don't know why it became like a fucking, like, fucking noir fucking, fucking detective. Yeah, they're officially my chosen people now. You guys could learn a thing or two from those stripy little bastards. Hmm. Noted. Waffle dog. Yes. Let's see, aren't you afraid that you'll be arrested for standing in the road? What is a traffic cop to a god? And what is a god to a non-believer? Most traffic cops hold more power than you and you know it. Youch! I mean, you aren't wrong, but still, that shit stings. <laughs> god damn it. If you're god, then what's the meaning of life? You want me to come up with a reason for all of, ex all of this existing? Don't you remember why you created the universe? I don't remember what I ate this morning. I probably ate trash knowing me. So, can you like, come up with the meaning of life right now? Now fuck that. Why don't you come up with the meaning for life? It'd probably be a million times more coherent than what I could think up of. Think up. I think the meaning of life is to treat each other nicely. I think the meaning of life is eat or be eaten. Life is merely a game, dear hobo. Heartburn. I think life has no meaning and that you are full of shit. That's the most reasonable answer. <laughs> I don't know, man. In fairness, I am full of shit, don't get me wrong. But, there probably is a reason we're all here, whatever the heck that could be. I gotta plug in my headphones. Where is the charger cord? There it is. And... 
But there probably is a reason we're all here, whatever the heck that could be. Well, if the reason's so important, then how on earth could you forget it? Now, hang on there. I've got enough people misquoting me as is. I simply stated that there probably was a reason. Not that said reason made sense or was even remotely important. Out of all the things this game... Uh, in this game, heck gets censored. Yeah, <laughs> right? Right. It's fucking wild, dude. Please do remember. What's that? Imagine if Putin gets censored. God. Please do remember, I'm just a little creature at the end of the day. I know not what I do. Aren't you also like God? Yeah, unless the tax man asks. You think having a yacht yeets you straight into the top of the. Yeah. You think having a yacht yeets you into straight. Oh my fucking god. You think having a yacht yeets you straight in the top tax brand? Try legally owning the whole fucking universe and every bullshit creature residing in it. I pay my fair share in agony already, thank you very much, Mayor. What the fuck? What? 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 Oh, is it like, is it because he got his fucking head turned into a TV or something? You ever eaten broken glass or shiny rocks before? I don't recommend it, but still, don't knock it till you tried it. God damn, fucking hardcore. It reminds me of, like, that fucking, that one fucking, mmm, rock candy. It reminds me of that one dude, uh, that I saw on, like, My Strange Addiction or whatever the fuck, that would just eat light bulbs. He was just obsessed with eating what? light bulbs. Yeah! Like, he loved, like, the Is fucking even... crunch. Yeah, and he should... He should be fucking dead. The hell? Yeah, dude, I bunch of random shit. He ate live bullets, too. G gun bullets? Mm-hmm. Gun bullets. This world's crazy. I ate like a full on like, not even like a like a pistol bullet, like rifle bullet, sniper bullet. Oh. No. Yeah. Fucking stupid, stupid, stupid man. Right. He's gonna eat like a piece of rocket launcher someday. Right. Also, like I don't know if this is valid or not. Let me fact check this real quick. Okay, is it is this true? Okay, apparently it is true. This man... How would... How do you even do that? Like... I think they just blend some of it. Blend it. They blend it. Like, this... this so basically, this, this dude fucking ate an entire plane. Like... I... I don't... I don't know... What even... Wait, there's a list of unusual items consumed? Wait! Wait, what? what? Read it. Li Read wait. It. List of unusual items consumed by this man. 18 bicycles. 15 what? shopping carts. What? <laughs> Seven TV sets. 
six chandeliers, two beds. This man's just eating the whole house. He's like a one man. He's, it's like that one episode of SpongeBob where the fucking like nematodes just come in and just eat his entire house. Yeah, one, definitely. one pair of skis. How do you even, how do you even manage that? One computer. What? He just sees an object and he just starts fucking salivating. What? <laughs> One, what? Was that? Freaking Google in his stomach. <laughs> right? <laughs> he ate one Cessna 150 light aircraft. <laughs> God damn! Gonna need to bump those numbers up. One waterbed, which isn't really that impressive since it's just. Water and exactly. plastic? Exactly. Anyone can do that. Anyone, anyone. Wait, what? what? 1,600 feet of steel chain. <laughs> Dude, the human body is really fascinating. What the fuck? He. <laughs> The motherfucker ate his Guinness award plaque. <laughs> Wait, did he get a little Oh my god. No, he probably just saved the shit. Oh my god. Wow. 45 door hinges to top it off. Wow, yeah, 45 door hinges. After everything, after everything else, you know, like, like, before reading all that, I'd be like, man, my man eats door hinges, like, you could say you ate one door hinge, I'd be like, holy shit, you're fucking mad, lad. This guy, yeah, I know. But I wouldn't be surprised if he ate an entire ceiling fan. I would not be surprised. Right, somehow this man just died of natural causes. <laughs> he didn't even, like... <laughs> he lived to be 57. He lived to be 57. He didn't die of, like, being an adolescent. He just died because it's just natural. He that died just because he got tired of eating everything. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show, I'm yeah. gonna show, I'm gonna show the freaking chat this real quick. Okay. This man... This man consumed this entire plane piece by piece, like it in one in one hole. Yeah, crazy. My man's like a fucking like one of those fucking cartoon characters that just fucking like just like bores the other cartoon character, except for like he a man like with an airplane. They just order an entire food, and they eat everything, even the plate. Right? Yeah, no, for, for fucking real, dude. Holy crap. I don't even know how you would manage to do that. Like, how do you not die because of any lead poisoning or whatever? How do you not die I, that? I have no clue. He must be putting some, like, seasoning or something on it. <laughs> yeah, he's season his medals. Oh god, yeah, yeah, <laughs> for fucking real. Oh my it's god. Salt on door hinges. Yeah, yeah, no, dude. We get a good, got a good salad dressing too. God, that's terrifying. Oh god. <coughs> All right. That takes eating glass to another level. Right? Fuck sakes, man. Uh, alright. <clears throat> Let's see. Who's still... Who's still... Kicking around here? Okay, we still got two people watching. Good shit. Alright. Now I'm partial to the taste of gravel myself. You look like you eat broken, broken glass, alright? 
Thanks, you too. I. <laughs> All right, thanks. You're very much welcome. Yes. Are you drunk right now? Is it 11 a.m. yet? I'm awake and moving, so yes, it must be at least noon. That's that's fucking me, bro. That is me right there. Then I'm indeed moments away from severe liver failure, yes. Um, I gotta get going. Well, I, d I don't know if that's gonna, like, ruin the fucking run if he has a dating run. Gotta lay some eggs, actually. I'm heavily pregnant. I gotta pay child support to that witch I wasted ten years of my life with. I've merely grown tired of you. Oh, hey! You're one of those reptile fellas I made a few million years ago. Not judging, just saying. Fuck, you guys are weird. <laughs> True that. Good luck conquering the human race and whatnot. They'll never see it coming. Ciao. See ya. A oh, man, you should have punched him. Goodbye, Daddy Doggo. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's fucking go, baby. Let's see. Oh, that's dumb. That's dumb. Fucking, so, so if you're a phone, you can go to, uh, you can go to the typewriter shop and meet this, like, fucking typewriter girl who's, like, actually, like, fucking great. Uh, well, no, actually, actually, I think, no, wait, wait, I think... I think she does own a phone shop and not a typewriter shop, so I think she might still be here. Why'd you wander in here, Jack? A phone shop of all places? I doubt they do repairs for people who stick together flesh heads, you know? If that's what you're looking for. I mean, forget the flesh thing, I doubt there's any repairing whatever's up with you as of late. Something wrong, Jack? The, the phone? Someone. Someone answer the goddamn phone! <laughs> Hold your horses, sweetie. Hold your horses. What's up? What are you hauling for, hon? Where am I? I, I? Is this heaven? No, wait, this place is too drab for that. The river sticks, perhaps. Oh, I get you, because of all the phone cases. Those ain't skulls, hon. They're just empty cases. I don't understand. Do you want to understand? Well, yeah, what is this place? Can I give you a brief sum? Can you just give a brief summary? We'll save again. Just in case I fuck something up. Can you give a brief summary? No, I thrive in ignorance. Leave me be. Yeah, what is this place? Oh, okay. Well, sorry, I already, already clicked it. It's fine. We're standing in the Dialtown phone store. Shot's near a hundred years old now. I can't fucking speak. I'm going to hurt you. Shop's near a hundred years old now. Set up by my pa, God rest his soul. Shop initially sold whole telephones, but with them being so common nowadays, well, we've adapted to fit the current market. Not every purchase has to break the bank, you know. A hundred pieces, uh, fuck, a hundred pieces sell just as good as one. Fuck, I can't speak! I can't speak! Same thing also goes for most aspects in life, I also find. Fronty face. 
What's your frowning for, man? There's nothing wrong with building yourself up bit by bit. Now, if you want to know about something specific, I'm sure I can oblige. I'm fine, thanks, see ya. Can you take me to the fun fair, please? Tell me about yourself. How's this place still in business? What kind of customers do you usually get in here? Tell me about yourself. You want to know about me? Oh, well, I'm not all that interesting. Just being alive long enough to hear a few interesting notions. Just being alive long enough to hear a few interesting notions. Meet a few interesting people. I'm old if your eyes ain't doing so hot. Sorry, I meant optical sensors or whatever they're called now. Way I see it, if you see with them, they're eyes. Don't matter if your head's a phone, typewriter, or what have you. Anyway, my story ain't much to tell. If life is a story, I'm sure I'd be one of those one-bit characters, you know, the sort. Just sitting around in the same place all day, just waiting to be found. So I could share what I, uh, what I know, uh, what I know about our funny little world. My father probably would have been a better person to talk to, you know. <laughs> he shut up. He shut up. He set up shop here a few shakes after the telegram went the way of the dodo. Would you believe my pop called Callum Crown on his first telephone back in '42? We've been in downtown for a long time, our line. In a way, I like to think that we're part of history, even if only just. Nice. Who's Callum Crown? Oh, you know, uh... Okay, I need to take a break. I need to do something. Alright. I don't know. The inventor, man built every first phone head. Fella became mayor of this here town and prezi of this here country. Of course, this is all before the whole worldwide dial up, mind you. If it weren't for him, we'd still have our old fleshy heads and the world would be nothing like it is now. But I mean, you know. It'd kind of be the same, except you just wouldn't have a fucking typewriter on your head. Why is it every hot phone guy in this game is just, just has no Kia abs? <laughs> right. Did you know Callum personally? Most of the town did then, when I was a little girl. Couldn't avoid the fella. He was campaigning for mayor and then president. Something about him was infectious. He knew just what he wanted. He had a vision, a dream. Fellas like him, it don't matter what they do or where they go. They just attract power. Sometimes that ain't the best thing for everyone, though. And that's the last I'll say on the subject. Okay. So wait, you were alive before the World Wide Dial-Up? Yeah. When I was a little gal, the whole world had flesh heads. No phones, typewriters. I mean, we had phones and typewriters around in our homes and businesses, sure, but... Just not mounted to our shoulders. That would have been considered weird. So were animals different, too? Would I have been considered normal without my flesh typewriter head? Well, no, since we didn't have green skin or six nipples either. Shit. Because they are strong like a Nokia. Yes. You're damn right. They're built to last. 
just no machine heads. World was pretty much the same otherwise. I was born in the wrong era. Yeah, yeah you say that, but in the olden days, you would have been considered a witch or a monster. And in the future, you definitely get stopped at alien customs. Also, if you have a Walmart or Kroger in your area, please go find the sugar cookies. Thank me later. <laughs> Alright. But I'm considered a monster now. Am I one? Are we all just a little bit? Sorry, you got more questions. Oh, fuck, you got any more questions to ask? No, go away. I, I I wonder I wonder if they like can actually just like use their own heads like it's kind of like how is this place still in business? Can you take me to the fun fair, please? You need to buy crazy cut nuggets and lettuce. You don't sound like a good pair, but trust me. All right. What kinds of customers you usually get in here? Believe me, hon, I'm flattered. But, no, I got a store to manage, I'm afraid. Oh, come on, this place is deserted. Is it me? Nah, I mean... Look, hon. I'm sure you'll find someone who isn't... Is into whatever it is that you are. Keep searching. God knows I got weird customers in here, if you'd know where to look for them. I know one will be bound to take you, so don't give up. It has to be you! I crave elderly romance! Well, what I'm craving is a paying customer. Don't suppose you're one of those, are you? Bastard. Right, I thought not. <coughs> well, I almost tripped up the stairs while I was getting midnight snacks. Oh, jeez. Be safe. Ask whether it. Uh, what? Ask whatever else you need to ask. So long as you're not. Uh, so long as you're out of here before the next customer comes in. Which may take a while, granted. You son of a bitch, I crave elderly romance. Damn you. Gabby. You've stabbed me in the heart. You cold, relentless harpy. You've left my soul dim and broken. Damn you. You damnable fiend. Yeah, let's see. Sneak into the subway. We haven't done that yet. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Subway! <laughs> Alas, the outskirts of Dial Town, where city meets bumfuck nowhere. It's not all that bad, narrator. There's always the fun fair. Some people like getting away from it all, you know. It all being what? Civilization or a lack of blood sucking ticks everywhere? What are you talking about? Dial Town's crawling with lawyers. Lawyers and ticks have similarities, sure, but there's one clear difference. What, the extra legs? No. The ticks fall off when you die. Goddamn. Ha! <laughs> Classic. So, what now? Hmm. Uh, 
Well, we already did the Sasquatch thing, so we can't do that again. Shit. Ticket booth, Jerry. You shall relinquish your opening. Wait, no, that sounds wrong. Actually, scratch that. Back to the outskirts of town. Feebly approach the ticket desk. Hello, ticket booth, Jerry. Oh, it's you. Hello, Ticket Jerry. Hi, Ticket Jerry. You look nice today. <laughs> Stop that. What do you want? Can I ask you a question, Ticket Jerry? Since I'm not allowed to leave this booth, I am unable to physically compel you to leave through the glass. Legally, the answer is yes. Jesus Christ, that voice is so sus. <laughs> God. Does it really scare you if I bang on the glass? No, I... Uh... I guess if you banged really hard on the glass, well, I wasn't expecting it. It's not an invitation. Don't do that. So, it doesn't usually scare you? You know we're gonna fucking bang on this glass. You fucking know it. Howdy, howdy, howdy. <laughs> I'm calling the police! Route lost even harder, please stop. <laughs> what does that bottom text say? Hello, Ramzito. Well, I'm ch I'm checking what the bottom text says. Top text, bottom text. Uh, I guess if you bang, sick. You know we're gonna. Route lost. You're just embarrassing yourself. <laughs> That's fucking great. Scamper away from the yelling like a wild animal. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if we just have to, like, break him down. Just, just, like, fucking break him down until, like, he just fucking gives up. He's just like, please, I'll just, I'll, I'll pay for you to go in if you just stop. Why not? It's the doggo. So it doesn't usually scare you? Yeah, my boss puts a sticker there without consulting me. Creator of Day Shift at Fazbender 1. To be frank, customers really shouldn't be banging on the glass anyway, so, uh, I haven't bothered to correct him, you know. So, uh, is that it then? No, Ticket Jerry, I've come to bargain for your loins. I mean your loins. I mean your loins. I mean your money. So, Ticket Jerry, you have any plans for later today? Hey, what are you... Wait. Was that little jitter at the end meant to be a wink? <laughs> Your head is a typewriter! You don't even have eyeballs to wink with! Hold on. Hold on! I can... Once this blank page clears, I'll serve you up one winky face with ink! Why are you doing this? Would you rather... The word eggplant in a sexy font? No. Please, please, no eggplants. Please, I am not single. 
I am married. I have a wife. Damn. Well, at least now I know my target. The wench shall fall without mercy. Ticket Booth Jerry is mine. We own 12 German Shepherds, all of which require different and expensive skin lotions for their hell. Alist. What the fuck? Alistian. Alastian eczema? Can't be here at the moment. Sorry. Have a good live stream. Alright, see you, man. It's all good. I have eight different one month video streaming free trials that are mere days away from expiring. And if I forget to cancel any of them in time, it'll cost me up to $10, which is more than I make per week. I watched the Sonic 2 movie. It was amazing. I'm not going to spoil anything, but Sonic Adventure fans will adore this movie. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. I really can't wait for the next one. But it's going to be a big fat bummer. Because I just now, I'm just now thinking about this. I was so excited for the next one, but yeah, in in an interview about the the movie, uh, he said that he's quitting acting for now. So that's that's gonna suck. I'm not gonna have any Eggman in there. Who knows? They might they might freaking. Uh, they might cast someone better. Someone spoiler it for me a little bit. Does he go super? Well, I mean, I don't want to spoil it for anybody, anybody else in here that you know hasn't watched it yet. <sighs> Um, DM me. I'm just gonna say something cool does happen. I'll put it at that. I am not ready for any more commitment. Who said anything about commitment? Hmm. Oh my. Sorry, I'll just get out of your hair or rather lack thereof what all you have to do is open the gate handsome and if you let little old me in I can reach under the desk and oh no I'm calling the police damn it damn it Jerry J stop Stop with the popo! -po. Damn you! Damn you, ticket boot Jerry! Son of a bitch! Come on! Come on! Hurry it up! Alright. Jerry! I have come to bargain. Dormammu, I've come to bargain. To... a bargain? Yeah, so let's say you let me into the fun fair for free. Uh-huh. And? I don't get a waste of problem, bozo. Drinks a glass of grape juice without answering. You can't just out silence your way of, uh, your way out of an explanation. Stay silent all you want. You're the one who needs my help here. I won't agree to anything unless you tell tell me what's in it for me. What's in it for Jerry? Uh uh Is there any incentive for me to help you with your bargain? What if I have a weapon in my hand? Is that a good enough incentive? If you let little old me in, I can reach under the desk and 
No god. Both of these are gonna get me arrested. Well, if you had a weapon in your hand, I'd tell you that the glass is virtually indestructible, meaning only real damage you can do to me is the emotional variety. And that can't be correct. Indestructible, really? Yeah, pretty much. Just in case one of the mouse carts tries to decides to suddenly fly off the rails and, you know, visits this here booth showering us both in broken glass and shrapnel. Anyway. Hmm. Hey, don't hmm me. It hasn't happened once since we installed the bulletproof glass, so it's clearly working. Last time it happened, was anyone in the booth at the time? So this specific scenario has happened before? For insurance reasons, I have to answer, no. Now, is that all? Um... Damn you, Chicken Jerry. You bastard. It's gonna... It's, this is gonna get me arrested too. I demand to speak to your manager. You wish to speak to my manager. <clears throat> About me requiring two dollars in exchange for a ticket as per his extremely straightforward guidelines. Oh my god, the sun is rising. Oh jeez, we'll get some sleep. That's it. Good man. I don't like your lip, Jerry. I'm reporting you for misconduct. I just want to speak with him, man. What's the deal? Goodbye. See ya. I've been extremely polite living the... Look. I don't think you've really thought this through. My manager, Mr. Brannigan? Sets this fun fair's rules, and these are his rules that you are trying to shamelessly vault over. I'm happy that now you take breaks between your streams. Hell yeah. Yeah, I've been pretty pretty busy, you know. But, yeah, I've, I've been trying to take care of myself. Rule schmools. I don't like rules. I like anarchy. Let me see him. I know I can talk sense into him. Talk sense into him? I'm telling you, just find two dollars or else someone to take you. Or, or else... Bleh. Bleh. Those are your two options. I honestly don't know how you'd expect to talk him into letting you in for free when he's trying to run a profitable business. I'd stroll in there. And I'd give him the old razzle-dazzle. I could just ask nicely. I'm sure I could find a way to convince him. I remember the time you made a 24-hour stream? Yeah, yeah, it was actually 27 hours. Save, just in case it gets me... Take anyway... Are you planning to seduce him or devour him? Actually, on second thought, don't answer that. I'm happier not knowing. Don't do this, please. Don't doom the both of us. I demand to see him, ticket buffoon. I seek an audience. Fine, I'll just rope someone else in to take me in here instead. You're actually going ahead with this... Okay. Fuck it! This is out of my hands now! Groovy! So where's his office? Head of his office is due east of mine. Follow the perimeter of the fence and you won't miss it. E east? What is an east? I remember when Netflix released the grossest, worst thing on their platform, Cuties. Oh god, yeah. Yeah, no, Cuties and Big Mouth are just both, like, just fucking gross. Right. Go right. Okay.
Where the hell is the boy? Well, I don't know. Maybe he's having lunch? How rude! How dare he devour nourishment on my time! Do you think he shares lunch with me if I asked? <laughs> Why on earth would he do that? I'm hungry! I'm heavily pregnant and I need nourishment! I've got eggs to lay! Yeah, I wouldn't tell him that. He's less likely to take pity on you and share his sandwich as he is to spray you with his wasp killer in the vain hopes of terminating your life before you have a chance to lay your eggs in his office. That's not a smart move on his part. The first thing a dying pregnant cockroach does is expel their eggs. I somehow doubt that the man's going to, de uh, to be deeply pondering cockroach reproductive instincts while his frenzied brain scrambles into full fight or flight mode at the notion of you laying oozing egg clutch in his office. Good god. <sighs> oh crap, my stream is delayed to one hour. I feel kind of weird. Oh jeez. Well, take care of yourself, man. Then me is a fool. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing in my office? Didn't you read the sign on my door, bucko? Abel only! Yo! It just fucking hit me! This is the Able! This is the first phone head that we fucking found out about in Day Shift at Freddy's 3. I'm pretty sure it was 3. I'm pretty sure it was three. It was either two or three, but I'm pretty sure it was three. But yeah, this is the Abel that, that, you, that you find out about. Like, like, they, they... Yeah. Where? Where? And they, they were always talking, or, or he, he was talking about how, you know, he was, he was a fucking terrible dude. He fucking, he basically, like, Forced all of his co-workers to be fucking the, the the fucking Testing dummies for improving the fucking the the the, the phone head shit and Then they ended up fucking Throwing him in and fucking having him turned into a phone as well It is him. Yeah, yeah that's fucking cray cray. That's cool. I, I like that. That's really cool. So they are like, they are really like intertwined because we also got to see Peter, uh, the the Jack's brother. So that's cool. Able only. I don't even let Jerry in here. I. The ticket desk is right outside my door. Should you wish to forward a complaint with my company's department, which is Jerry, by the way. No need to bother me with whatever you could possibly want to complain about, when it's all in the same waste bin, anyhow. I'd like a ticket, sir. You want a ticket, eh? Oh my god. Yes! Lustful, frothy, salivating. I'm, I'm, I'm lucky. There's only like two people in here. Otherwise, that would have probably gotten clipped. <laughs> then why don't you go and buy one from the aforementioned ticket booth? 
The booth literally has the word tickets hammered in above the glass on a neon flashing sign. How on earth could you miss... No, no, I was already there. The, 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 the bad man. He asked me for two whole dollars. Oh, imagine that. Asking you for two whole dollars to let you assault my fine establishment with your... Hang on, just a moment. Aren't you... You pissed in the... You pissed on the waltzers here last year, didn't you? I... I, I plead the fifth, governor. I piss, boss man. It's what I do. What on earth are you doing back here? Shoo! Git! I want a free ticket. I need to lay my eggs in your fern fair. Let me in! <laughs> oh, what's that? Are you begging for a handout? Gonna cry, maybe? Shit yourself and fall asleep, perhaps? Are you, are you weeping and wanting like a baby? Because I will give the annoying green wretch curly bother me a free funfair ticket? If you want a ticket, then I suggest you get a job. But, 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 but Jerry said... I don't care what that subordinate oof told you. You get nothing. You pissed all over my waltzers, which had to be washed and sterilized. So you get nothing. You lose. Good day. You're a crook. You're a cheat and a swindler. That's what you are. How could you do such a thing like this? Build up a little... Goblins' hopes. And then smash their dreams to pieces. You're an inhuman monster. This referential dialogue sucks. I said good day. So, how'd your little meeting of boss man go? He's so mean, Jerry. Why is he so mean? Who hurt him, Jerry? I think he was born hurt. The dog probably slapped him a little too hard. Gave life itself a poor first impression. Wow, I've never heard that one before. Label is a jackass, now said. Right? Go on. Man, Abel is a real cane in the neck. <laughs> oh god damn it. That was that was <laughs> Oh no, that was bad. Oh god, that was bad. Imagine. <laughs> oh god. He's so rude, he made me cry. He, 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 he. Imagine trying to ask him for a sick day so you can take one of your beloved and diseased Alistinians to the vet for their expensive prescription of... Fuck, I skipped it. I need to go weep in a corner. I'll leave you alone now. Scuttle off. And so shines a good D in a weary world. What now? Leave the area. Where would you like to go? Uh, back to the outskirts of town. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's go, baby. 
So what now? Leave the area. Where would you like to go? Let's go into... Uptown Dial Town. Fuck it. Fuck it. What? Uh, just playing some Dial Town. What's that? Keep checking where I am, huh? <laughs> oh, you, you, no, I was just making sure, because I, you were talking very quietly, so I wanted to make sure I knew who I was talking to. Sorry. No, it's okay. Uh, <clears throat> I hope you're doing good. All right. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. Actually, scratch that. Downtown Dial Town. Sneak into the subway. To the outskirts of town. Funfair and Woods. Uh, to the local park. To your tent. To the local phone shop. To the local cinema. Or the local bank. You're just gonna rob the bank. The bank, really? Why the bank? Silence! It's my love quest. Nice. Nice little, uh, Chris Chan. Chris Chan reference there. Probably unintentional. Ticket Jerry said couples make joint bank accounts together. This is destiny, baby! So, if you're correct, you mean if Ticket Jerry is, yes. Right. And if the bank is full of couples making joint bank accounts together, then I reckon your odds of finding the fun fair mate there are practically zero. Since everyone making a joint bank account would be, by definition, already taken. We go play Minecraft. Alright, see you, man. Bastard man. He is the man, the bastard man. <laughs> I was a bastard man. What? Bastard man. Uh, what was that? Sorry, um... Did they mean bastard man? Oh, no, I... He's, uh... He was just calling him a bastard. Oh, probably I didn't even notice. I honestly thought the way. Broussard or armlet is an arm down a piece of cloth and other material worn around the upper, I guess, like, bicep. Gotcha. That's not. Boop -a -doop -a -doo. Hello? Hello, Mr. Teller. Oh, hey, it's the Karen. Hello. Oh. Okay. You're green. Hello, nice to meet you. Yeah, I am. What of it? Well, we sh uh, well, I'm sure we could be green together if you catch my drift. Oh my, getting saucy. I do not catch a drift, no. Please kindly explain what literally any of that means. Okay, fair game, you got me. I just figured that's what... I, fi I just figured that what I said would pass for some sort of euphemism. Because it sounds kind of like one. Wondrous, yes. Just fucking do like a vibe. Now, were you hoping to make a transaction then, or? Now I'm fine, I'll see you later. Are you taken tonight by chance? So, what exactly is money then? So you're ahead. Can I check my bank account balance, please? Alright, what's your account number? 
Um, zero. You do have an account with DT DTCB, don't you? D do I need one? To check your bank account balance with us. Yes, you certainly do. This voice keeps going everywhere. It is, it is fucking off the rails, dude. <coughs> well, would you like to create an account with DTCB then? Sure, why not? Would I lose my legal fertility? Uh, conservation status? What the fuck? You very... <laughs> you very may well lose whatever that is, yes. I'm gonna freaking pin my hair up again. Freaking... Yeah. I gotta give you something. Here we go. Shit. Drat. Hard pass then. All right, go on then. Make me an account anyway. So in that case, are we done for today, or? So, what exactly is money then? Taken by what exactly? No, I meant, are you free tonight? Am I? What is this? Are you? What are you asking? Can I help you? Take me to the fun fan, please. <laughs> no, of course you can't, which is why I walked up to this counter and you no less. Please take me to the fun fair. My paper churning mistress. God damn it. I'm just gonna fucking save just in case. Please. Firstly, never call me that again, thanks. Secondly, what? I wanted to ask you out on a date. You're asking me out on a date? I don't understand. Well, it is Valentine's Day, Karen. I, I knew that. Is it really the 14th already? So saith Ticket Jerry, yes. I'm gonna change up that fucking voice because it's fucking annoying. So, what you're at? So, what? So, what? You're asking me out for Valentine's Day on some sort of date? I mean, yeah. Ye? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I could let you take me out to Valentine's Day, for sure. But why are you asking me, of all people? Well, you're the first person to not stab me for asking. <laughs> God. Dear, dear God. <laughs> so many bad decisions. What? Right, yeah, no, for real. Right, yeah, no, telling a person that, that you fucking want to date them because they look like they have low standards, that's not going to go over well. Hey, that shit ain't going to go over well. At least not literally. Oh boy, that makes me feel wanted. Come on, that's not what I meant. What? So you think that you're too good to be my last resort? Well, what... Well, say what you meant, but don't beat around the bush. Surely you can see that I'm... a different... I'm a nice guy. Nice skin. <laughs> you have green skin, half a dozen nipples, and you don't even... You don't even get me started on what your head is crafted out of. Alright, alright, I get it. You do seem to be relatively comfortable around me, though. That's actually not that all that. That's actually not all that common. Pal, have you seen the kind of customers I meet on a daily basis? The last three dudes who came in here before you were a Shiba Inu, 
a hobo, and a woman who had a dude in a BDSM leather animal costume on a leash accompanying her. Wow, I want to meet them. I want to fucking meet them, dude. That sounds like a party. Guess which one pissed on the floor. Ugh. <laughs> you're weird, but you're not day ruining weird. Okay, fine. It is normal then. God damn it. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to fucking. We're gonna have to try this one. Well, fine. It is normal then. Unzips pants and starts pissing. S stop the security! <laughs> we got another pisser. <laughs> Damn it! Damn you, Karen! Scamper away whilst howling like a wounded coyote. Goddamn! Rip! Rip! <laughs> for a second there, I thought I fucking. For a second there, I thought I I I I saved over it. Yeah, I was afraid it would. Right. Oh, nobody's watching. Damn. Is anybody still here in the chat? Sometimes YouTube fucking does a dumb. Doing here. Uh, is that Oh, yes, it is. Roasters, why are you disguised? Alright. Ooh, sexy owl man. Oh, yes. Oh, blitzy. Up that <laughs> bottom with my <laughs> stick. <laughs> God. Oh, you know what I do when I'm lonely, Blitzy. <laughs> Let's God. Not get into those words. <laughs> right. Don't need monetization. Right. You act like I'm monetized. God. You are high tier. In a way. What? You have good drawings? Oh, thank you! Thank you! Stay online. I appreciate that. You have some users that come on, about 10 or 20. Yeah. I don't know how much dog on that. Yeah. Yeah, I just need to start trying to, like, make shit, like, a bit more freaking. Like a bit more kid friendly. That way I can actually fucking start monetizing. Not monetizing, but like start um, putting it on as like being like safe for children to watch. Cause when you have it off there, like when you when you have it, you know, being like uh, age restricted, it it basically just like removes it from like recommendations other than uh you, the people who are already following you uh sometimes it'll you know very rarely show up but that's just mostly when a bigger channel you know fucking uh post something that is age restricted and their following, you know, still floods to the video, and that gets it in the algorithm, but, yeah. Because I, 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 it, it does make a lot of sense. Because there's been a, there's been a steady decline ever since I started, uh, like, fucking streaming on, like, on... Uh, the computer where I have like the option to fucking you know select if it's gonna be uh, age restricted or not and I always make mine age restricted uh, but yeah so 
might need to start doing that. Maybe it's more beneficial to gather a little more into like the the ship posters and the furries. <laughs> right. <laughs> There's a large user base that loves to just look at silly shit, so... Yeah. Yeah. Awkward. Yeah, I, 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 I wanna... I wanna... Get out there more. <clears throat> Most people see me as a monster, or at least think I smell funny. <laughs> well, I'm behind glass, so I can't really smell you. You do look like you smell weird, though. Granted, that's probably true. I do have a pungent musk following my presence at all times. See, the thing is, Dial Town's a weird place. Hell, the world's a weird place. The way I see it, since everyone's weird, maybe no one is. Plenty of Han with goofballs and weirdos simply wind up in the wrong place at the wrong time, you know. So, no. I don't see you as a monster. Just a cryptid. Who's actually kind of talking me into this somehow. <laughs> Come on, surely you must want to get away from work. Might be a cure for your boredom. A second reason? No, please! Like you could do better than me. Beat your chest in an ape-like dominant fashion. Let's see. Is anybody, is anybody in here yet? No. Okay. Alright. Is that a dogfish? A dogfish? Oh yeah, no. It's just freaking it's sad. Yeah, no, it's got like fucking fluids in its stomach. Ouch? Yeah. That's Why? bummer. Uh I don't know. I'm gonna have to look this shit up. Yeah, it's it's kind of a bummer. Alright, so we're gonna save this. And I'm just gonna pick it back up. Tomorrow. Why not? Yeah. Alright. Well, to anybody watching this in the future, if you do, thank you for watching. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye bye.